this is about traveling salesman problem, also called Hamilton Circuits. This is Shannon. So consider the following example. John lives in City A. He must take the train to visit offices in each of the other cities and then return to his home. The map shows the cost of train tickets between each city. Take a minute, pause the video, and copy the map now. Notice there are many possibilities for the route John can take to visit all the cities. We're looking for the answer, in this case, for the cheapest trip. To find the best answer, we actually have to find every possible answer and then find the cheapest one. Now in a case like this, it's pretty simple. We know we're starting with A, and we know we're ending back in City A, because that's where John lives. When we take A out of the equation, what we notice is B, C, and D are the cities we have left. So we run through every possible way that John can visit those cities. To list them out here. B, C, D, B, D, C, C, B, D, C, D, B, or D, B, C, D, C, B. In all of these cases, John will start in City A and end in City A. This is the common notation, the way we write these possible tours. What we'll do for each of these tours is see how much the tour costs and then finally decide which one is cheapest. So as we do this, we'll go from city, our first option, says city A to B. When I look at A to B, that costs 20. We then go from B to C. Notice that link is 30. From C to D, that link is 12. And finally, from D back to A, that link is 35. Please confirm each of those numbers for yourself while I add these together. So I get a total cost for this route of 97. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the others now. So here I filled in the final totals for each possible tour. And what we notice is we have two that are 97. That is our lowest possible tour. But what I want you to notice about this tour is the progression of cities. So in this first tour, which we have a cost of 97, A, B, C, D, back to A. Notice this other tour, which also has the cost of 97. If we read it backwards, A, B, C, D, A matches exactly in the reverse order. We can see the same is true for the other pairs of values. A, B, D, C, A matches here going the other direction. And notice these both have the score of 108. Finally, the most expensive trip, 141, forwards and backwards. Which means each of these trips we ended up doing twice and we didn't have to if we had noticed in the first listing that A, B, C, D, A was the same down here as A, B, C, D, A thereby eliminating half of the work and leaving us to choose between these three options. 
I'm sorry this got messy. I just wanted you to see the process there and how we would list out those routes, find the cost of each leg, and then determine which total tour is the cheapest. Please make sure you can get these numbers on your own for this problem before proceeding with the homework. Thank you for watching.